It's 11 at 11. Coverage you can count on in high definition. Starts now. Survived in route to Children's Hospital that the odds are he was not going to make it. And he did make it. Not only made it, within four days he's 100% and back to his ordinary self. We brought you the story of a two-year-old a few days ago who was injured after an old stove fell on top of them tonight. Toddler is smiling with only a few bumps and bruises. Good evening and thanks for joining us. After recovering at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh, that toddler received a special welcome home from area firefighters tonight. Carrie Corrado met with the family and has more on that story. Carrie. Marty, like you said a few days ago, this was a completely different scene, pure panic, but now a sense of relief and happiness as the toddler is back to his normal self, welcomed home by area fire departments, calling it a Christmas miracle. You can never be grateful enough. Yeah, right here. No, that's what it comes down to. Two-year-old Mark Matthew Jackson Jr., also known as Bean, seen smiling, a future firefighter. <laughs> But a few days ago, the little one was in an unthinkable accident. Mark Jackson says his son crawled into an old stove. It tipped over, crushing him, leaving him trapped. Jackson sent this video. He tried to see how the stove tipped. You can see with a quick tap falling hard, the same way he says it must have hit his son. But now... 100%. Like nothing ever happened. And you look at him and he looks like he's just the happiest kid in the world. Yep. And like I said, four days ago, he should have been dead or severely injured. That's the amazing part. Area firefighters gave him a ride in a fire truck, a special welcome home parade. Um, I never asked for any of the support. Um, it was there. Mark Jackson, a firefighter himself, overwhelmed by the support of the fellow firefighters for his family, especially when he received word of the accident. I broke down in tears. I was in shock. Um, my brother firefighters uh, grabs me and, uh, you know, asked me what was going on. Little Mark Jr. bounced back, left to be just What'd like his dad. But he knows he wants to be a firefighter when he gets old enough. I mean, it's, it's in his blood. Firefighters say they would give back to the community in a heartbeat. It's just what they do. And for little ones like Mark Jr., anyone they say is in need of help. Reporting live, Carrie Corrado, 6 News.